we believe that as an artist we have to be aware of the responsibility, we have to communicate not only shapes or colors, but also a message. I, have, uh, I studied um, art first, uh, you know, art school, uh, like college, but I have a, I, I have a degree in drawing and after, afterwards in a sculpture because I have the, the, the feeling that they were not teaching uh, as much as I would like to, to, to be taught. How do you say? Sorry, my English. <laughs> um, so the fact is that you have always to continue by yourself, by yourself as far as it's connected with art formation because generally art teachers are artists too and sometimes, not always, but sometimes they, they don't want to, to share that information and knowledge. So I, am, I try really to share with my students. Um, I have a studio on my own and I have students at my, at my home. To, to share what I, I'm trying, I'm, I'm making, or the things I've been discovering. Um, so we also share other artists' works there, because I feel that's a very important part of the process of learning, not only making art, but also seeing some, uh, some other people's work, from art story, history, sorry, till contemporary one. Um, speaking about that, my, my influences are an artist were Michelangelo, Monarati, at the very beginnings, Carlos Alonso, well, maybe you don't know him, he's from my country, uh, he's great. Sherman Expressionist, Egon Schill, Francis Bacon. Um, I guess that the main characteristic in all of them is the approach they had towards their life and art, as well as the way they treated the human figure which is very strong and, and it's always present in their works. Um, I think the artists uh, we like the most are always present in our work. Uh, I also think that um, some other things, like the ones we show to, to do, are present too. Like for example, I like reading and that's also a, sor a source of inspiration for my work. Um, I generally don't work with any kind of previous sketch. Uh, an idea, the ideas come to my mind out of the blue most of the time. Um, then after the finishing one piece, you realize to you, 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 I began to wonder what could have been the the main idea, the idea behind that work. Um, I think it's very important also to show our works as an artist because in that way we also receive a different point of view about, about it that probably you have never even thought about. And that's make our work even more rich. rich. Um, art is a way of communicate, um, communication mostly, so we need that feedback to complete the work. Well, uh, I have the chance, sorry, one thing to say about that. For example, we were speaking with Virginia. Mama. There about that work, um, the canvas, and she was telling me about the energy and like kind of lightning, lightning, mm -hmm. yes. And I said, oh yes, uh, I have never thought about that work in that way, but you made me realize real, that I think, yes, you're right. So that's, thank you. <laughs> hmm. um, well, I had the chance to, to meet Rolly, uh, several years ago on a w website uh, where artists used to to show their works um, I respected his ideas and artistic integrity and so we quickly become, became friends and we have been writing each other since then speaking about art and how we felt about how being an artist um, so then Rolly began to work here at Gallery 56 and introduced me and my work to Fran, uh, who began to represent my art here in Memphis. I'm very thankful. <laughs> um, honor and thrilled to find that my work has found an audience here. And I'm looking forward to keep working in future projects in Memphis as well as in America. <laughs> so thank you. Okay, now we'd like you to um, talk.
tell us about um, art in Argentina? Just yes, <clears throat> yes. It's, uh, I was telling you sometime a uh, few minutes ago today about that. It's sometimes difficult because if it's a, a different kind of society, and if you have another problems to deal with, you may not have the chance to, for example, buy a piece of art because. Uh, you need to eat, eat first, for example. <laughs> so then you eat, have an education, and then you can buy a, a, an artwork. But if you don't have those basic needs, like cover, you you probably won't think about getting an art to your home. And I also see that uh, being a teacher in, in public schools in Argentina, sometimes it's very difficult because you, you can see the the situations the children have there, um, those children are going to grow, grow up and probably will have the same reality. So you are just there as a spectator and sometimes that's pretty hard. But yes, about, uh, about art, uh, I think what, what happened in my country uh, with, with my work is I feel that the people really like it but they can afford it maybe. So then most of them want to to take classes with me because they like art and they come to my studio and we I try to help them to, to find their own image because um, we were speaking mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> about that about uh, how it's important to to help to another artist in this case a person uh, to find their own ways of communicating. Because I don't want them to be me. They are a different person with a different life, different feelings, and they have to to do what they, they feel to. I just they are to help if I can. So I, I think that's how I see the, the artists in, in, in my country. Tell them about uh, paying to show art. Sorry? Paying for to show your art, how you have to pay to show your art. Oh, yes, that's terrible. I, I don't agree with that situation either there. Explain it to them. It, it's like you have to uh, pay for the space. And then if you don't work, uh, the, sorry, if you don't sell, you just go to your home, you already pay the gallerist, and you get nothing in return, plus they keep with the commission if they sell the work. Mm -hmm. So I say, I don't like that. I don't think that it's fair enough because as an artist, we it's a work. I mean, for us, it's a work. That's why they call so, it artwork. Yes, artwork. <laughs> well, yes, obra, we say obra de arte, yes. But the, you say that I think uh, we don't say trabajo, work. Um, that's maybe be the different. It's, it's like, Perhaps they they think in, in my country that it's a hobby. Oh. And that's why you have to you have to be able to afford to have a hobby. So hobby for the elite. Uh, sorry, I don't know if the word is hobby here. Oh, yeah, it's like yeah, you do yeah. something, yeah. Oh, yeah. you have spare time, free time, and you say, oh, I'm going to paint. But <laughs> if you feel that it is not a hobby and it's something that from inside and the, you, you need to do that in your life and you want it to have it all the time as a, as a way of communicating and expression um, so it's it's difficult in that in that way so generally uh, I like to show my work of course because part of the art is you have to show it but uh, I I go to public places and um, they know me in my city, so it's okay with that. And I have, actually I think I have a, a show, yes, in April. I, I have forgotten about that. In the, it's called like Youth House. Um, so uh, it's in the neighborhood, and I think I'm going to show something there. But they don't charge, they don't, you don't have, don't, don't have to pay for that, because the, the place, how you say? It's like the state is paying for for that place. Tell them about and your uh, your recent book deal. 
Ah, yes, yes. It, um, I made some illustrations for um, an Italian writer. I met on Facebook with him. I don't really know him, but I really liked it, what, what he was, uh, his work as a writer. So he thought it was going to be a, a, a nice idea uh, to have the book with my, my drawings. And it's in kind of ways like the mural. It's, I'm not doing strictly what, what I feel, but I feel it the same. I have to interpret, like make an interpretation of what he's writing. So it was not good because sometimes if you don't have uh, to do something for other people, you keep doing the same. Um, that's not good for your art no. either. So, yes, it was a, a nice experience. And um, actually, in May, there is going to be a, an exhibition in, I, I can't remember the, the cities, but in, in Italy, mm -hmm. Naples. 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 Mm -hmm. And she's going to bring us a copy. I'll have a copy yes, here at the uh, gallery you all can look at. Yes. And now, if you'll tell us a little bit about your impressions of the United States since you've been here. Wow. <laughs> a lot of, I, I don't know how to express them. Because I have been in, in New York for days. Uh, in my country, it doesn't snow because we don't have snow. It's a tropical weather. And I have my first snow in here. I, I didn't bring enough clothes. <laughs> well, how, what about the attitudes and, and uh, the feeling you get in the United States? No, I, I, I felt uh, welcome. Comfortable? <laughs> Comfortable, yes, because, yes. It was, uh, but the the good thing is that uh, I have not always been. In, I wasn't only in New York. Then I fly to Atlanta, and then Birmingham, and then I can remember. <laughs> Memphis, <laughs> yeah. Yes, here and what? So I I could see the difference between New York, so many people, and sometimes. You don't have the time to. It, it's like a different uh, way of life. Maybe in the south, they we're a little young. slower. Yes, yes. You know, not not in, not in <laughs> intelligence, just uh, in no, movement no, 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 no. and and relax more. I'm not from the south either. I'm from the north, so oh, I've noticed a little maybe difference. Maybe it's connected because you don't you don't have so many people, and in New York are people from everywhere. I have uh, Spanish all the time. Uh, um, if they they and uh, they asked me if I if I live in Miami because of my oh. English, I said no. <laughs> From Argentina, <laughs> the first time I came here. But yes, a lot of uh, Spanish speaker, uh, people from everywhere. Um, and then in the south, the the accent, the accent, you say? What accent? Huh? What accent? <laughs> what what what? Tell them what word you learned today. You all. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for Mark? Yeah. In all these, like New York, Atlanta, Birmingham, here, I know you have work here. Do you have work in galleries? No, not yet. I, it's, I just came as a visit. Okay. Um, no, no, no. I was just rushing all the time because I wanted to see all and visit. It's my first. Uh, time here, so well, maybe <laughs> we'll see with time. Who knows? But well, I'm glad to be here, really. And the thing that she said is that she's actually sold more at our gallery than she's sold in her own hometown. Oh, wow. And you know, have you heard the saying, you got to be a, what is it, you're never famous in your old hometown? Yeah. You know? <laughs> but but uh, the way I see it is you have to keep trying, despite you sell or not your work, you have to continue working and then the, the right place will appear, appear. So what are your what are your plans and your aspirations for the future? I left behind the, the big sculpture I'm working on. She's working on a life, 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 yes. st life size sculpture. Yeah, you can see it in, on Facebook. And um, I don't know really <laughs> because I'm all the time changing techniques and that. Um, and since last year, I began to do the paintings on the, on the walls, and I like, really like that because you, it's a big canvas, 
that spread and in a public place so everyone can can see that. I think that's important. It's very important to have a piece so that people can all see it. I think it's it's cool. We're delighted actually. Any more questions for Mariana? Go so, ahead. So, so we're going to be the only mural on your tour this time will be what you paint here? Or are you going to do one yeah. maybe before you go back somewhere else? We were, yes, we were planning some, but I don't really know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can't remember what, Birmingham? No. Maybe I'm making but not too well. Good. I'm just glad you picked this thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the owner Frank said if she had the time, he'd let her do all the buildings. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about the, the design is, we, we worked and worked on it. Uh, she gave us at least 15 different sketches, and we, we at first it was too looked too much like graffiti, and we didn't want that. Yeah. And then it got it was a little too commercial, and so we, we finally arrived at a design that, that incorporates Memphis, but also the artistic element of someone painting. And I think it'll be just a great uh, addition. We're yes, hoping... When you have a, a, an artwork in the street, I think it's important to, to be connected with the place and the surrounding. You cannot just do what you want. I think, like, Mexican muralists, they, they have they knew, <laughs> they knew they are well great. So uh, they they don't they didn't do what they like. They they had a message in there, and I, I think that's also important too. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So if you have, if you have one word to describe your, your experience as an artist, so yeah, from the time you decided or what you that you recognized your your artistic abilities, what word would that be? For you? Um, oh, actually, follow me. No, yes, because when we are little child, uh, mm -hmm. children, it's like we are all the time drawing and painting, right? Then you grow up and just stop doing that. I don't know if it's education, formal education or what, but you just give up <laughs> to that. Uh, so I, I cannot say that that a time, a particular point, in, I mean, but uh, no, one thing that uh, um, I, I visit uh, an art, uh, the home of an artist in Entre Rios, which is a state, another state from Argentina, and I showed him uh, his, my works, and he told me, you have to do this, it's, it's in you, it's, uh, and, it's, and it's, it's going to be always with you, and you have to to keep with this because you are good and you and you get better. But you have to work. It's like work, hard work again. That work is important, not to keep working on that. And then when I and I went to art college, as art school, like university, you say here. Uh, then I I think there I realized that I always wanted to to do that. It's like I've always been doing it, but not consciously, maybe. Then when you get older, you say, well, that's the path I, I want to, to walk. Anybody else? Go ahead. What do you think in your own life? No, it's all okay. So okay. then, the rest comes. Oh, yeah, right. Um, have Thanks. you Have you seen art's ability to help people yes. heal? The, yes, it's a catharsis, catharsis. Mm -hmm. always, it's a therapeutic, yeah. And most of the, I have a lot of students that come to, come to my studio and, and they say, <laughs> I, I'd rather pay you for art classes than the swing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have already, yes, for real. Some of them, they don't tell, but I know that it's like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but uh, I can tell a lot, you can tell a lot of a, per, of a person by, well, that's why they use as a test the drawings, because you cannot find certain things. And if you, if you want, it's there the same. It's, it's there, it's, it's going to be you trying to hide those things that you don't want to show. So uh, yes, yes, I think it's very important. Uh, and I think also that a lot of people didn't 
even kill themselves <laughs> because of art. It's like a kind of salvation in a way. Yes. Anyone else? <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you very much. Oh, we love you. you. Yes. Yeah.